Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Brass Monkey X and welcome to the final assembly of the Savage Fox Model B project. So if you guys have been following along, you know that we finally got our wood stock finished, our fore end. We chose a finish for that. All of our metal parts have been Dora blued. They're ready to go. We, we finally got the uh, frame completely assembled. There's a video on that. And uh, this is the last step of putting it together, guys. And then we'll have a functional, ready-to-go firearm. Um, I hope you're as excited as I am about it. But uh, again, like always on this channel, before we assemble anything, I'm going to roll in our disclaimer here. Make sure we have no issues with YouTube. All right, with that out of the way, why don't we go ahead and get started? So first step, we're going to take our forend here. And we're going to screw our forend iron into that. Okay, you just slide it right in there. Pops right in. A couple of screws. Hold it down. feel when they get tight. You don't want to over tighten. You don't want to strip anything out. All right, just like that. Fore end is complete. Set that aside. Next step, we're going to attach our frame to our stock. Okay. And to attach the frame to the stock, you're going to use this big old screw they provide you with here. Make sure your washer is attached. You don't want to lose the washer. Um, sometimes it's a little tricky to get it lined up. You know, just drop it in the hole there. Okay, there we go. You're going to need a pretty big screwdriver to get in there. You need something long enough. Sometimes it helps to just get this lined up first, actually. Sometimes you got to get a good look down in there, put it in the light. All right, we got that lined up. We can go ahead and put our frame on. And then go ahead and start screwing it down. As it gets tighter, you'll see it suck that frame down onto the stock. Again, you want to get it good and tight, but you don't want to over tighten where you're going to crack anything. There we go. Frame is attached to the stock. Um, let's see. Next step, we can go ahead and put our butt plate on. Okay. You saw the video where we sanded that down to fit. Um, if you remember from that video, we had a little bit of a gap. I managed to fix that. I had a piece of, uh, just a piece of foam that I had. A piece of black foam. I put it on there, cut it to the shape. I just cut it to the same shape of the, uh, the butt plate there. So that seemed to work. Just line up our screws here. Get them started by hand. I also put a, a, a fresh coat of spray paint on the butt plate and the screws here. It was looking pretty dirty. I cleaned it up, put a nice coat of paint on it. Figured I didn't need to make a video about that. Everybody knows how to use a can of spray paint, guys. Go 
Make sure those are nice and tight. And there you go, that piece of foam took care of that gap I had there. Filled it in perfect. All right, um, next step we have our trigger guard. Okay, there's a little screw hole right down here in front of the triggers. Trigger guard screws right into there. When you're doing this, you wanna be careful. Make sure you don't scratch anything up. Yeah, you got that nice new finish on there. Okay, every time you come around, it gets a little bit closer and a little bit closer. You kind of want to pull up as you come around so you don't scratch it. Snap that down there, and then there's one screw that goes in there. Nice little guy here. It's right in the back of the trigger guard. Go ahead and tighten that down. Let me get a smaller screw head here. Nice and tight. All right. And let's see, we're going to go ahead and put our barrels on now, okay? Just like any other double barrel shotgun, slide it together. Let's go ahead and slide that on. Okay, we take our forend, snap that on, and there it is, guys. The Savage Fox. Model B in all of its glory. Completed. Sawed off down to 18 inches. All done. Final assembly. She turned out beautiful if you ask me, guys. Looks so good. I love the way this came out. The color of that dark walnut with that blued finish. Fantastic. I couldn't be any happier. Um, but there she is, guys. That's the Savage Fox Model B project. It's, it's come to a bittersweet end here. Everything is completed. Um, you know what? Let me just do one more thing while we got the camera rolling here. I'll put you back on the tripod. Let me just break it open here. Oh boy, it's a little tight. All right. Um, I got some snap caps. Put some snap caps in there. Make sure everything's functioning. Snap that down. Safety's on. Triggers won't pull. Take that safety off. Trigger one. Trigger two. 
Very nice. Everything functions. She's working. She looks good. And there it is, guys. The Savage Fox Model B Project. Um, make sure you tune in tomorrow. I'm going to do a final benchtop banter on it. I'm going to go over every little thing I did to this. Um, it'll be the last benchtop banter on the Savage Fox Model B. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it, guys. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.